All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scum. My name is Blonde Don, and thank you guys so much for being here as usual. Today I've got a little bit of different plans uh, than I normally kind of go with. Normally I'll find a place somewhere on this island to go and search, go and loot, um, trying to get into some shenanigans, you might say. But today, I want to focus on some things that I don't ever even think about. And what I'm referring to is a, it's a, it's a little bit of everything. I want to do some training on myself. And by that, I mean I want to increase certain areas that I'm lacking in. For example, in my strength and my archery levels, they're extremely low, and I could really use some uh, boosts in each of those categories. So in order to do something like that, I need to craft some kind of practice target so that we can actually practice on something um, so I got to figure out how to do that and then there's a few other things that I want to check out as well it's not just going to be uh, shooting a bow this entire day but um, if I go into crafting or is it under building maybe there should be something in here that will allow us to practice our lock picking as well as practice our diffusal of bombs oh here we go okay uh, the practice bomb right here it's a basic bomb used for practicing dis diffusal skills which is exactly what we want and the reason that I want to do that is because I believe we can uh, uh, we can defuse the bombs on puppets. Is that right? I can't remember. I think you guys told me that we can, and I think we, I don't know what we get from that. I'd have to double check. Um, but what do we need for this? We either need a car battery or a radio. We might either have a radio, or I'm sure we should be able to find one. And then I also said, I, I believe I said that I wanted to practice some lock picking as well. And I think there's a board. Yes, there is. The lock picking board right here is going to allow us to do exactly that. And the reason I want to do that is because eventually I want to go and find a kill box and go and, and, and try it for the first time. I think last episode of the episode before I was mentioning a kill box and I, and I figured I wasn't ready for it. And you guys kind of let me know that I definitely was not ready for it. So I want to get some lockpicking practice done here. And um, I think that's going to be able to help us and prepare us a little bit for the future. And don't worry, it's not just going to be all this boring administrative work here. Um, what I also want to do is head over to C1. Where is that at? That's up here. You guys let me know that um, there might be a, a, a nice spot over here. I think there might be a waterfall or something like that. I might be wrong. Uh, but apparently this is a really nice spot that um, I might enjoy if, uh, if I'm looking to settle down in another area of this map. Because as far as I know, I don't think we're escaping this place. So we might as well really make it our home. And then one last but very, very big thing is the fact that I really really want to find a car. The only thing I've ever been able to find is a dirt bike, which don't get me wrong, this is awesome. This has helped speed up this the travel across the map so, so much. Uh, but a vehicle would be so nice just to be able to store everything in it. Um, and especially if we end up moving out of this area, it's gonna make things 10 times easier throwing everything in the vehicle and then traveling across the map. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the plan for today. It's a, it's a little bit of everything, a little bit uh, different. Normally, I'm trying to get some loot. Today, is that's not really the goal. Uh, like I said, today, I just want to improve on some skills. So you might have noticed, on my back, I do have a massive uh, makeshift bow. And then also in my quiver, I've got some wooden arrows. Now, I have no clue why they're sticking out so far. I, <laughs> I, I guess my quiver is a little bit too small for these guys. Uh... <laughs> I can't figure out how to how to get them in any further, I guess. But um, what I'm going to do to start off here is we are going to set up that target. So we've got the small, medium, and the large target we can work with. What do these take here? So the large target says it's a big target for all of you bad shooters, which definitely is not me. There's the medium target that says a me medium says target so you don't practice on trees, which is what I'd been doing in the past. And then a tiny target for you to show off. Um, let's go with medium. That's uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to get too uh, confident here, but um, I don't want to get overconfident and use that small one. So I think we go with medium. And I think... Uh, I think we put it over at this tree here. I don't want to be shooting at my base, but I also want some kind of backdrop that uh, if, you know, in the, in the rare chance that I do miss, that, uh, that maybe it'll at least hit the tree behind it. Okay. Now, so for this, we just need a couple of boards, some scrap, and a couple of nails, which we should have the scrap and nails, and I just got to cut up a few trees. So let's go do that. I'll uh, chop this tree down and I'll get everything I need and then um, we're going to try it out. And uh, I guess, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, the reason that I do want to um, increase my skills is not just because I want to just be a, a better survivor overall. That's part of it. 
Uh, but the other part is, uh, is I really love the stealth aspect of uh, going into these these uh, POIs and um, taking them out quietly. And I haven't been able to do that when, with any proper bow. I have been able to do it with uh, a smaller compound bow, but I would really love to use the bow that's in our inventory, which right now I am not strong enough to use it, unfortunately. And so that's one big reason that I want to uh, get my strength up for that. If you guys caught the last part of the last episode, you might have uh, remembered me mentioning that I wanted to see an increase in puppets, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I don't know if you can tell, but there's already one hovering out there. We get another one over here. We got a third one over here. That might be all for now. No, wait. There's four of them. One, two, three, <laughs> four. Uh... Now, they're no strangers to this area. I've, I've found one here before, but I think it was just one. Either one or two. But, uh, yeah, we've already got four just hanging out right outside of our base. So, I think things are going to get a little bit more interesting here going forward. And boom, look at that. Oh, that is a beautiful little target here. So, let's try this out. I don't know how far away I want to go. Let's, I guess, just try from here. Okay. Let's see how that uh, did. Um, you know, not bad. Uh, I feel like I should have some kind of indicator showing the different levels of uh, distance away from the target that we can go. But for now, let's just go with like kind of the end of this rock. That rock will never move. It's definitely a challenge, but that's exactly what I need. Ooh, that was really low. I think I missed the target completely. There we go. That sounded really good. Okay, it was fine. <laughs> I didn't hit the white part of the target, but I hit the target. Well, the, I hit the board on the target. Yeah, I'm quite inaccurate with this thing. That one seemed pretty good. There we go. Hold on. That one was really good, I think. Oh, no. None of them are. <laughs> They're all in the bottom right. Okay, so I guess I gotta aim a little bit up into the left. All right, how are we looking now? Ooh, much better. We actually hit a bullseye in there at one point. I almost even split one of these arrows. Okay, well, I'm going to keep practicing on this a little bit. I might even go mess with these, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go mess with those puppets here really quick. Let me grab all of these, and then we'll head over there. pretty successful let me get the uh, the rest of my arrows I, I lost a little bit but it's not a big deal the uh the wooden arrows are super quick and easy to make but what i did notice is that we do have an airdrop right over here so i'm gonna run over there and see if we can get anything good out of there um do i have any weapons on me i do have the axe and then i do have the pistol still i think yes i do okay so i think i should be okay if we uh, run into any more puppets out here Ooh. Ooh. hold on I did not know there was going to be a bear up here. Okay, I hit him a few times, but I don't know if I did any damage. Oh, yeah. There's some blood on the ground right there. Oh, boy. I don't know if uh, this is going to be smart chasing him into the woods where I can't see him. Oh, there's a horse there, too. What is going on? Where'd you go, bear? I just heard him scream over here. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, boy. <gasps> we got him. Oh my goodness, this thing's a beast. Um, I'm gonna have to remember where he's at and then come skin him later. I don't know how much time this thing has got on it. So let's go after that first and then it looks like we should be good on uh, meat for a little bit. Alright, we're coming up on it right now. Looks clear in terms of puppets, so I think we're good. How much time we got left? Oh, plenty of time. 16 minutes. 
So if I remember right, I should have everything on me. Oh yeah, tons of advanced lockpicks and screwdrivers. We should be okay. Ran back to the base to grab the motorcycle and to unload some things, so uh, now we just grabbed everything else. Nothing crazy out of that, a big toolbox and a drill, which I think might help for some crafting later on in the future. But um, for now, I say we head back to the base and uh, keep at it. Alright guys, so, it has been, uh, it's been a little bit, I've been practicing non-stop here, and I'm just a few more shots away from leveling up from basic to, uh, I, I guess medium skill level. See if anything happens when I do that. Oh, <laughs> there it is! Okay! Let's check this out. Yeah, so I just hit 100% on that, so I guess if I keep going, it should roll over into medium here. Let me fire off a few more shots here. Okay, I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to be rolling over to the medium level. I don't know if maybe uh, it just takes some time or what the issue is, but um, I don't know. Let's see if we can at least pull back the compound bow that we've got in the base here. This is the one that I really want. Put that on the ground. Let's open up the weapons. Oh, yeah, I did make a fourth chest here as well. Um, just to throw in the extra tools that I got from that uh, airdrop. So this is what I really want to pull back. Now, <laughs> do we have the strength for it? Ugh, no, no, we don't. I guess I have to keep at it? Or wait, did I do all of that for nothing? I remember you guys telling me that the... Uh, that the, it was the rifles category that increases uh, the crossbow, but this is the compound ball. I, I would think this is different. I really don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's so confusing. There's so many different factors, so many different things that affect all the different weapon types and, and things like that. So, I don't know. Either way, it was kind of fun. Um, I never actually shot at a target, never crafted a target, um, and it was kind of a fun little project. And so now what I wanted to do next, here, let me put all this stuff away really quick. I think I'm going to hold on to the bow for now. You know, it's, it's a nice little bow, so we'll keep it for a little bit. Okay, now what I want to try crafting as well is this practice bomb. What does that take again? So that takes the electrician tools, which we actually just found, which is really good. And then that's either going to take the car battery or radio. I want to say somewhere in my inventory we've got radio, but we'll see here in a second. And it just takes wire and metal scrap. So let's uh, see here. Anything, it'd be in our misc uh, box here. We do, we do have the radio. Okay, good. Um, let's throw that out. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab the wire, scrap, and then the electrician tools as well. So can we craft it? Yes, we can. Oh, that's so cool. I've never done this one before, so this is going to be really interesting. Okay, I wanted to mess with this one because like I said, it, th th we can apparently defuse the bombs on the... Uh, at the, on the beepers, the laughing puppets, so that they don't blow up. And I really want to try that out and see what we can get out of that. So let me see here. I don't know. How do we... What do we do with this thing here? Uh, let me see here. Oh, I wonder if it needs the wire cutters? Here we go. We've got some here. How about now? Okay, disarm trap. There we go. Okay, cut all, all the wires connected to the green lights to disarm the trap. Cutting a wire connected to red light will trigger the trap. 
Remaining attempts, unlimited. Okay, beautiful. And uh, press space to start. Okay. So it, it says it'll trigger the trap. Will that just blow it up right then and there? Or will it give you any time to, to get out of there? If it blows it up on the spot, we're in a lot of trouble. But uh, let's see what's going on here. Oh, it, and we're timed. Wait, how do... <laughs> Use the arrow keys to set the practice time. Oh, okay. Let's... um. Oh, there we go. There, I can set the time. I'll put it at 30 seconds for now. If five seconds is all we get, we might be in trouble. How how do we cut these? No, was that wrong? That must have been a bad one, okay. So I want to cut this one. This one. And this one. Success? Okay, that one took us eight seconds. But if five seconds is the uh, the time we have to work with, we <laughs> we have to get our time down fast. There we go! Four seconds on that one. Oh, that is nerve-wracking, and I don't even have to risk blowing myself up right now. I think I just kind of have to train my brain to look for the green lights and just follow them as fast as possible. The thing is, I don't know if we're bringing any skill level up when we're doing that. Oh, here we go, the demolition. Yeah, okay, it's raised by arming and disarming explosives. Okay, perfect. It influences the diffuse time, diffuse attempts, quality of armed explosives, explosive damage, trigger radius, and unlocks crafting recipes. Interesting. Yeah, we have no skill in it right now, so let me work on this for a little bit and uh, see if we can get this up to at least basic. We are 50 XP away from leveling up, so I should be able to do it just one more time here, and we should be good to go. So let's try this here. The third one is that one. There it is. We leveled that up too. Okay, so this one actually reflects. It actually rolled over to basic now, from no skill to basic. Now, does that affect anything in the practice bomb that we were doing here? I don't think so. At least not from no level to basic, it doesn't seem like it. I know it specifically says uh, when you level up, it influences the explosive diffuse time. So I don't know if we'll get more time going forward if we try to diffuse one of the beepers or not. But when we do it on the practice one here, it only uh, it stays at five seconds by default. So I don't know if it reflects on that or not. But either way, I'm going to eat this cheeseburger MRE because we're getting low on a lot of things like carbs, sugar and fiber. And it looks like we have way too much saturated fat. Uh, but hopefully this cheeseburger is going to be decent for some of those things, minus the saturated fat. 22 grams of sugar, 93 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fiber. So we'll get a little bit from that, and plus we'll uh, stay full. So I'm going to quit practicing on this for now. I'll probably end up doing uh, this, the practice bomb, as well as the uh, target practice out here a little bit later. But I, I just basically want to uh, just try messing with the stuff for now and then we'll really start leveling up. Now, the third and final thing that I wanted to try here was the lock picking board, and that shouldn't be too difficult. Ooh, I need an improvised workbench to do that, and some padlocks. I don't know if I've been keeping any padlocks, though. That's the thing. I haven't really worried about it since we uh, don't have to lock up our base out here. Can we uncraft some of these enforced locks by chance? I don't think so. Okay, so we'll have to go on a little bit of a loot run. Um, so maybe we'll wait on the lock picking for now. So let's do this. I say we head out on the search for a vehicle. And in that search, I'm going to be going out east on the map. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid this airfield over here this time. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and hit up all the towns and things along the way and eventually make our way up to C1. So I guess more northeast than anything. Again, completely avoiding that airfield. I think by the end of this day, we're gonna have a vehicle. And if uh, we complete everything that we wanna get done today, except for finding a vehicle, then I'm going to spend the rest of the time searching for a vehicle. So let's head up to C1. Let's check out this area, maybe loot some towns along the way, uh, maybe kill some puppets and um, just see how that goes.
right, so I took a wrong turn, and instead of going up to the water area, <laughs> I kind of went a little far, but I was planning on coming up here anyway to uh, search for some vehicles. So we're going to have to clear out this town here, and uh, hopefully all goes well. I've got my uh, my bow and arrows. I've got my, oh, that's right, I have my AK-15 on me as well, and then I also have my pistol. So I think we'll be okay. We just got to be extra careful. Like I said, there are more puppets around here than normal, so I don't want to get too risky out here. All right, one down, probably about 30 more to go. Well, I did a thorough search of the whole town, looked through all the garages and everything, looked down all the streets, nothing. Not a single vehicle except for apparently a mountain bike. Which, don't get me wrong, it's great and all, but I don't think I need a mountain bike. <laughs> Unless I'm trying to be ultra stealthy. But uh, right now I need something a little bit faster and with a little bit more storage than this thing so i'm gonna park this here and i'm gonna head out to that little lake area and um, i'll see you guys then all right we are coming up on the lake right now and so far i'm liking what i'm seeing and oh look at that there is a waterfall oh that's so cool oh there's a little cabin up here too Hold on, I gotta be careful. I don't know if there's gonna be puppets. Let's see if we get over these rocks. Hold on, let's check out this cabin. I did not expect this here. Anyone in there? No, looks clear. Is it unlocked? Sure is. Okay, anything on the ground or anything worth looting? Oh, there's a shotgun right here on the ground. Let's check this thing out. Okay, it's not bad. A little over under. Uh, I don't know if I want this. We already have a, a really nice tactical shotgun, so I might leave this. This would be fun to go out like duck hunting with. Be a lot more fun than using like a tactical shotgun. The tactical shotgun doesn't seem all that fair. But uh, let's head over here with our new shotgun and check out this waterfall. I absolutely love this area. I love the trees and the, the way that the um, landscape goes up over this kind of hill. And then you got the waterfall all oh, with the rock formation here. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Is there... Oh, there's another little uh, cabin over there. I guess uh, whoever lived in that other one doesn't have full rights to the entire lake to themselves. But uh, this area is really cool. I wonder what building over here would be like. I don't know how easy or difficult it is to build on a hillside like this. I can't imagine it's all that easy. This is some rough terrain with these uh, rock formations here. Oh, this is so cool. All right, let's keep moving here. This wouldn't be a bad spot right down here. Ooh. Building right on the shore, but yeah, the, the hill makes it a little bit more difficult. Maybe if we check out this area, we might find something that we like. Okay, so this was not a cabin over here like I thought it is. It looks like a little boat dock. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's see what this is all about. I didn't see any boats, but... It, oh, there is one. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we can use it to get across the uh, the lake here. Let's check this area out. Anything, uh, anything of note over here? Uh, some metal scrap. Um, anything else? What is this? Uh, we got a little pickaxe. Yeah, nothing really. This is a cool little spot, though. 
There's even a little shed. Let's check this out. Anything good in here? The helmet on the table. That's about it. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty spot. I love the massive trees around the lake. This would be a really nice spot to go fishing too. I've been talking about that for ages now, <laughs> but uh, eventually we're going to get our uh, fishing rod and uh, get some fishing in. Let's see here. Can we jump in this? Let me jump over. Uh, drive. Okay. All right. It's got gas. I wonder if the gas runs out, if uh, we can use the oars on the side or not. I would hope so. <laughs> this lake is uh, calm. It's like glass on this lake, even with us in the boat. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if I'm convinced that I want to stay here forever, but it wouldn't be bad to have a little cabin up there next to this nice lake. And it looks like we can leave this lake, too, if we really wanted. We could go all the way down here into this bigger body of water. But I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet. I'm going to keep this area in mind for sure. But again, I don't know if I'm ready to, to move my whole life down here just yet. But uh, I really do enjoy this spot. Now, I would take this boat out on the river and then keep exploring kind of the towns that run along the river. But we've got our dirt bike here, and it's our best mode of transportation. So I don't want to leave this thing behind. All right, well, cool. Um, this place is really cool. I'll keep it in mind, like I said. Not entirely convinced just yet, but for now, I'm gonna go back on the hunt for a vehicle for, well, not just a vehicle, for a car. That is going to be my entire mission going forward for the rest of this day. Uh, right after I check out this building, I have no clue what this building is. Oh, okay, I guess just a little shed. Just looked weird. I have not seen one that looks like this yet. Okay. Can we get up here if we wanted to? Uh, no, we can search that barrel. That's about it. All right, what I say we do now is we head up north. We're going to go into the, uh, the snowy area of the mountains. I see a city right here that I say we go for. And um, again, I'm, I'm determined to find a car no matter what happens. It takes me all week. I'm going to do it. Either way, we're going to find one. So let's keep on the move. Let's see what we can find. And um, hopefully we find one sooner rather than later. All right. Well, this is super convenient. I'm just getting up to the city that we were heading to. And right on the path here is an airdrop. Okay. I didn't... Is this a city or what is this area? This is where we're at. I might have to be a little bit more careful. I don't know if there's going to be mechs or not. Oh, this thing just dropped, too. All right, let's go through these really quick, and then we'll get back into the uh, the POI here. Oh my goodness, we found another RPK. And I have no room for it unless I get rid of a bunch of stuff, but I might actually be able to make some room. I got a lot of useless junk on me, so... Let me uh, rearrange some things and then uh, throw this in my inventory. Okay, we're good to go. I had to drop a lot of things. There's a lot of tools, a lot of different foods and, and sodas and things like that. Uh, but other than that... That was a pretty good haul for uh, for a airdrop. We got an RPK and then we got a bunch of beer. And yes, I did try and make room specifically for the beer because of course I did. All right, let's move up here. Um, like I said, I don't know if there's going to be mechs up here. So this is going to be interesting. I might be a little bit careless going up here with my dirt bike. But if anything, we can zoom on here pretty quickly with it. Oh my goodness. Look at that beast of a telescope. That's what that is, right? A telescope? Um, again, I, I don't really want to go through looting everything, especially since my backpack's completely full. I just want a vehicle. See a bunch of destroyed ones throughout here. Let's keep moving. I, I'm going to explore some of these buildings just because they look super interesting. But I don't know why it's so hard to find a darn vehicle. Let's go up here. 
some kind of satellite or something up here. Um, let's drop the dirt bike off. I haven't seen or heard any puppets just yet, knock on wood. I don't know if this area is kind of clear of them or what. Yeah, all destroyed vehicles up here, of course. Uh, oh. Oh, hold on. Don't you know I'm here? Oh, there it is. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Puncher, and then... Oh, and I missed again. Okay, hold on. Um, hopefully that didn't set off any nearby puppets that are actually outside. Um, if so, let's get indoors and I'll try and heal up a little bit if I need to. Okay, we are bleeding. We only have the C1 injury, so I think we'll be okay. The one that concerns me is the one that's a little bit contaminated. So I don't know exactly how this works, but it's showing our contamination is 2.8%. Whereas the immune system is 2.9% per minute. I don't know what any of that means. I'm hoping that because my immune system is higher and it looks like it's climbing up, that the uh, the immune system was, is going to help us out here. It looks like it's probably going to be okay. And I did hear something out here. I think there might be another puppet nearby. Unless I just woke up the one that was in the door in the uh, building over there. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Uh, I'm going to take this guy out. I'm not going to mess around with the bow and arrow for this one. Let's get to the top of this. I don't know if there's going to be anything up here. Probably not, but it might might be a nice view. Okay, so there are some boxes we can loot. Again, I don't really expect much out of here. On top of that, even if we do find anything, I'm probably not going to take it. Um, Can't really do anything here, but yeah, like I said, this view is amazing. You can see all the way out to the wall at the end of the island. The massive city down there too. Oh, you know what? That city down there is actually the one that we uh, we just went through. Okay, let's keep moving. Can we do anything up here? Or is it the same thing? Yeah, it looks like the same thing. All right, let's take out our rifle. I gotta be careful in here. We already we already know that there are puppets, so let's not take any chances. Alright, what's going on up here? Anything? Doesn't look like much right now. The door there, I'm guessing this leads to outside. No, it doesn't. Just a little closet. That's clear. Let's keep moving. Not seeing anything inside here. I'm thinking we're probably safe. Oh! I spoke too soon close this up. If there's any more in here, we're gonna set them off with that shot. I do see a scope right here. It's a hunting scope. I don't know. Can we put that on one of our guns? Can I just attach that to the RPK by chance? No, we can't. Um, and we can't do it on our HK-15 either. Um, okay, I see that as kind of useless, but I'm wondering if we can put that on the rifle that we have back home, which I think is the, the AWM or AWP. I can never remember which one. So I'm going to hold on to that. If anything, we could just sell it. We'll get rid of the Majestic Bear Vodka, even though that I think that sells for a pretty decent amount at the Trader. Somewhere outside of this area is a wolf. I keep hearing that thing howling. Which reminds me, I totally forgot to go back and skin that bear that we killed uh, way earlier, but... That's okay, I don't think I was missing out on much. Alright, well I think that kind of does it for this area. There's that wolf again. Not a whole lot to see in here, but it is pretty cool being in a, in a facility like this. So let's keep moving, I'm gonna get out of here and uh, find... <laughs> maybe find a vehicle. Alright, this is kind of the last area, or last building in this area that I haven't searched. 
that could potentially contain a vehicle. I highly doubt it, but let's let's see here. Nope, nothing. There are some zombies though. Let's take care of these guys. I'm out of ammo. Let's see if we can reload quick. Whew. Okay, that still makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah, I'm not even going to search this. Like I said, my main goal is a vehicle, and uh, the sun is setting, so I'm going to keep moving. Let's see where we can go next. Oh, that's right. There was that wolf. Before we go, let's just see if we can see the wolf from up here. All right, where are you at, buddy? Can you howl one more time? Sounds like it was coming from this area. I think if I wait a minute or two, he should howl again. Wait a minute. That howl was very close, and it was up the hill from me. Right up this hill is the uh, facility we were just at. Did I run right by the wolf? All right, well, I've searched just about everywhere in this area. I cannot find that wolf, so I'm going to jump on the bike, and um, we'll figure out where we're going to go next. <gasps> Hold on. Hold on. I I'm in shock right now. This is a almost drivable vehicle. Oh my goodness, what do I need for it? I need a wheel at least. And then I don't know what it's missing in here, if anything. And I, I mean, we could do without the doors. I, I'm fine without having any doors, but we need one wheel. I don't suppose there's a wheel around here, is there? Okay, no wheel in there, unfortunately. I'm willing to bet we're not going to find anything in here either. No, we aren't. Um, darn it. What about in here? It's our last option. No, nothing. Okay, well, we found our very first vehicle. We can't drive it. We can't do anything. Well, wait, hold on. We can't drive it, can we? Can get in it. <laughs> Wait a minute. We can actually drive this thing on three wheels. Oh, this is amazing. Um, do I want to though? There's no way I'm not like destroying this thing as I drive it, right? And it's actually pretty quick. We're only having three wheels. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll search. Uh oh, I'm going to search the rest of these buildings over here and see if we can find uh, any kind of tire or something. If we find a car door, then I guess we'll throw it on. But we basically have a working vehicle. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. I ran a quick search around all the buildings and unfortunately didn't find anything. But one thing I forgot to check is the storage on this thing. Uh, I'm curious. I know it doesn't have a back end. Uh, it doesn't look like... Is there no way to store anything in this vehicle? Does it need a, like a hatch on the back? I mean, there's storage space right here. I would think we should be able to put something in here. Oh no. Can we really not store anything in here? Okay, so okay, so we have a vehicle. I'm gonna keep searching. I'm gonna jump back on my dirt bike wherever I left that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go find that and then um, keep searching either for vehicle parts because right now we're down here. And now there is a city of some sort up here and then I do see some around the area. So I wanna go check those out. I know it's getting dark, but I have night vision on so I at least have that. But if it gets too annoying, then I'll probably end up just sleeping through the night. But yeah, now I guess I'm on the search for either <laughs> another vehicle 
which I feel like is unlikely at this point since it took us so long just to find this broken one or at least vehicle parts. I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a hatch for the back of the vehicles. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go find my dirt bike and uh, I guess we're going to keep on with the search. Oh my goodness. Look at this, another vehicle. What is going on? It took me ages to find one. Now I found two of them. They're both broken, but that's still a hundred times better than what we've uh, been experiencing. Wait. Okay, this one, this one we, wait a minute. Okay. There's another vehicle, a third vehicle, again, missing another tire. I think just one, right? Yeah. Where are all the tires? <laughs> all these vehicles are popping up out of absolutely nowhere and I can't find a tire to save my life. Wait, can we take, can we take a tire off of this thing? Uh, doesn't give us the option. I wonder if we need a tool. Oh wait, here we go. Okay, so, oh, I wonder if it's the same thing with the other car. Well, either way, let's find a darn tire. Can we not? If we can put tires on one, we should be able to take them off another. So I think I just need the right tool. Okay, well, I can't figure out how to get the tire off. And like I said, I think I need some kind of tool. So how far are we from a trader? I want it oh, so far away. There's one all the way down here, one all the way up here. And they're both about the same distance away. I'm thinking I try and drive one of these things to the trader. Because I'm pretty certain uh, there's the auto body there. I know I can buy stuff from that guy. I'm sure... I mean, he's got a whole garage. I'm pretty sure we should be able to bring that in. I think we do that. <laughs> this is going to be kind of ridiculous. Driving this thing with one wheel all the way. Curving down all of these roads. Across a river down into a trader, or maybe I go up. This one might be a little bit closer. Um, either way, this is gonna be ridiculous. I think we go for it. We finally have a car, so let's make use of it. Where, <laughs> no matter how ridiculous this is. Oh, there's an airdrop over there. <gasps> oh my God. Goodness, two RPK magazines and then all the ammo in the world for it. 100% this was worth it. I'm going to have to make a little bit of room here. <laughs> okay, I would absolutely call that a successful airdrop. We ended up getting a rebar cutter. I don't know what that's used for. I, I'm, I wonder if I even have one already. I might. Either way, I think we can use that for like making our own workbench or something like that. Can't remember offhand, but more than anything, we've got the RPK. Wait a minute. Why don't I just put the uh, magazine on the RPK? That'll save some room. Look at that. I guess I could load up all the rounds in it too. Uh, that's going to take a while because I don't know. How many does this hold? 75 round drum magazine. That is insane. Okay, I am at the trader. I decided to go with the one down south. I'm pretty sure I'm there. It looks like it should be an entrance going through all that barbed wire stuff. I guess we're gonna find out here in a second. Let's see if we can shut off our night vision. Ooh, that is... <laughs> that was dark. Um, you know what? Let's keep our night vision on. Okay, hopefully we can bring this into the shop. I don't know for certain, but we're about to find out. Um, I probably want to figure out where that shop is first. Um, it's showing mechanic to the right. Let's just take the car this way then. Alright, we got another sign up here. What's this one say? Um, mechanic still go this- oh, it's right here, okay. Now, can I just drive it in? This looks like a bay that I should be able to just drive in. Maybe I need to set an appointment, but, uh, I'm just bringing her in. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna go. Look at that attire. Oh, I wish I could just steal these from this guy. So, the drive here actually was not bad at all. It went by really fast. Oh, I should probably shut the lights off. 
But um, it went by really fast, and I can't get back in my car. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to fix that in a second. But uh, yeah, really, honestly, it was an easy drive, and it—I mean, the car pulled to the right a little bit. But uh, <laughs> hopefully, uh, we'll be able to fix that here. No light. Oh yeah, another I thing, really quick. Sorry, I'll get to him in a second. I totally forgot to use the inventory space on the on the vehicle. Totally forgot about it. I could have thrown so much stuff in here. I guess the, the reason that I didn't is I, I just forgot about it because I'm so used to using, or to only having the inventory on me. Like the backpack and the pockets on my clothes and stuff. But now I gotta get used to having that inventory. Alright sir, can you help me out? We're wheeled vehicles. Do we have, we have the, the Volkswagen, Wolfswagen I should say. So vehicle is $1,200. We've got 18 grand, almost 19. And it's, I don't know if it's even worth getting doors. I guess it's probably worth it if we're going to be driving through heavily populated areas. But they're kind of spendy right now. Oh, armored doors would be super cool. Well, let's buy a vehicle, or let's buy a uh, tire. I don't know if we have to install them or they have to. Okay. So we have the wheel. Let's, I guess, take it in our hands. Uh... <laughs> Oh, maybe we can drive it over here. Can't do anything with this right now. Here, yeah, maybe no maybe light. I can bring it up on this lift right Either here. Buy or get lost. I'll put it there. Let's go see if we can jump in the car. Can we get in from this side, maybe? No. Okay, I guess we're going to push it out of the garage here. Whoa! Either I'm extremely strong or that is extremely light. Okay, let's see here. I don't know if he's gonna like us just driving in like no this. Light. No lighter, he says, uh... Get lost. Maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do? Well, I definitely didn't park it very well there. Sir, do you have any tools that I could use? Can you not Prices do it? Are not negotiable. Oh! Surface vehicle on car lift. Oh! Look at that! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, where'd that tire go? Here. Install wheel. What? It cost me a hundred credits to do that? I just paid him over a thousand for this thing. Okay, whatever. Let's just do it. Oh, look at that. We finally have four wheels. Okay, I mean, now that we're here... This thing is a beast. I'll put um, armor on the no back of it later. I think for now this this will be more than enough. How much money do we have left though, sir? We have 5,800 left. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a little expensive. I think that cost us about 12 grand, but that's way cheaper than the 45 or 50 grand that it was going to cost us. I say we get the heck out of here. I don't know how to close my car door. Hopefully I just kind of yeah. will here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so it's, um, it is a lot harder to see out the front here. <laughs> oh, you can't see out the left side at all. All right, I say we get the heck out of here. Um, it is nighttime now. I think we're just going to exit the traders and find a spot to camp for the night. So let's see if I can navigate my way out of here and, um, then we'll get, get ourselves set up and, and recoup a little bit. I think this is where I call it a day. I'm gonna rest here for the rest of the night. We've got a full-blown car. We don't just have a regular fixed up car. We have a car that's ready for a death race that can plow through puppets if necessary. And on top of that, we came out with an RPK with two drum magazines and a bunch of ammo for it. Oh man, we really came out ahead. This day absolutely flew by, but Man, was it productive. We improved greatly on a few of our skills, like our archery, as well as our bomb defusal skills. Like that, it, it, I can't wait to see what's in our future. I can only imagine chaos, excitement, 
in a lot of danger, but I am looking forward to it 100%. But all right, guys, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Later.